For the aloo mutton gravy, I'm going to grind three onions, six cloves of garlic, and two inches of ginger. I'm going to grind this to a nice fine paste. I haven't added any water to grind this paste. This is nice and fine. Now, I'm going to begin with the gravy. For that, I'm going to take two tablespoons of oil in a pressure cooker. I'm going to just get out my favorite zara. I've got some sentimental value with this while I'm cooking my mutton. And I think my mutton turns out really nice when I use this spoon. Let me add this onion paste to the oil and fry it nicely. Keep the flame on a medium. We don't want our onion to burn off. So now while my onions are getting fried, I'm going to quickly make a simple garam masala which I'm going to use for this. So for this garam masala, I'm going to heat a teaspoon of oil. I'm just telling you the ingredients, the proportion is there in the description. So I'm going to add dry red chilies, black cardamom, cinnamon, and I'm going to add some cumin seeds, poppy seeds, some cloves and peppercorns. Now I'm just going to slightly roast this till they leave their aroma. Don't forget to saute the onions. There's a lovely aroma coming out from these garam masalas. Now I'm just going to switch off the flame and cool it and along with coconut, fresh coconut, I'm going to grind this to a lovely fine paste. So let this cool. This has cooled down a bit. I'm going to add this into the jar, the grinding jar. And along with the coconut, I'm going to make it into a nice fine paste. So I've taken quarter cup of fresh coconut. You can add some water to this. What a lovely red color these dry chilies have given to this coconut masala that we have ground over here. The masala is nice and fine. The onions are also getting sauteed. I'm just increasing the heat a little. Now I'm going to add tomato puree. I boiled two tomatoes here, remove the skin, ground it to a nice fine paste. I'm going to add this now to my onion paste. I'm just going to saute this till the tomato just changes the color slightly. To this I'm going to add a teaspoon of turmeric. Saute this further. I'm going to shift my cooker onto a smaller flame because I'm not going to require such a high flame. I'm going to add half a kg of mutton now in this. And I'm going to saute this for good 10 minutes. We fried our mutton really well. Now I'm going to add potatoes. I've taken two potatoes here, which I've made into four. I'm going to add this. And I'm going to saute this for a minute. I haven't peeled the potatoes here. I'm using them with the skin. And now I'm going to add the paste that we had ground, the garam masala and the coconut. Mix this well. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of tamarind paste. I'm going to add a teaspoon of sugar. Add some salt. Mix this well. And now I'm going to add a cup of water to this. And now I'm going to pressure cook this. So 
so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on a medium flame a little above the medium and then I'm going to give it five whistles and then our aloo mutton is going to be ready after five whistles and the pressure going off from the cooker I'm going to open the lid and just check if the mutton is cooked and our aloo mutton is ready to be relished this is like a fantastic meal for people who love mutton as well as aloos so do try this dish and let me know for such interesting non-veg recipes subscribe to get curried